Hey guys, so after some of the experience changes, I kept telling people, all right, I'm going to go back to regular videos. I'm going to go back to regular videos. Same with the streams. I, I've been saying I'm going to go back to regular stuff, and I've been too negative. Um, but I have to be negative one more time before I go back to regular videos. And I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible, and I'm going to sum up this Here is a Storm announcement that happened today, December 13th. And I was in the middle of a game, playing some team league with a couple friends, and I started getting spammed to check out this announcement. So, here we go. We can ignore all of this. We can ignore all of this. We could literally just look at this. We've evaluated our plans on Heroes Esports. After looking at all of our priorities and options in light of the changes of the game, the Heroes Global Championship and the Heroes of the Dorm will not return in 2019. And I want to keep this short. I don't have my webcam on because personally I'm not in a very good mood. Um, many of the people that I've been coaching are people that have found that they're trying to become pro players. They're just trying to win heroes of the dorms. They can get a scholarship. Um, many of the streamers I've, I've coached are people who want to improve the games so that more people want to watch them uh, instead of the other pro players that are out there. And... The challenge about HGC is that there were a lot of careers on the line. Not just all the pro players in all the regions, but also all the casters that were out there. Uh, I've been very quiet about a project that I've been working alongside Blizzard with, and it kind of fell apart. It didn't exactly fall apart, but I stopped hearing anything about it right after BlizzCon. Uh, I was supposed to go through and watch Heroes or HGC games pull up team fights and break down each piece of the team fights. And then I was going to put those videos up on the Heroes official YouTube channel. And that was a partnership that I had with Blizzard that I was going to do. My contract got delayed around BlizzCon and I spoke to the person at BlizzCon that I, that I was working with and he said, this is an exciting year for you. And this announcement seems about the opposite of that. And this isn't his fault at all. This isn't really... Blizzard's fault at all um, that that they gave these announcements they they gave all these great promises to all, all the hot casters and everything because a lot of the Blizzard employees didn't know and so my worry about this um, I have several worry I I can talk about this for honestly hours uh, but I don't want to I don't feel like it I just I just don't want to um. My my annoyance is that I'm primarily a YouTuber and secondary a Twitch streamer. And the Twitch streamers get sponsored on the, the launchers and they get all this stuff that's cool. I haven't gotten any of that. YouTubers don't get any of that. YouTubers get nothing from Blizzard. And I've gotten opportunities from the from the people who run the social media to post maybe one of my videos on social media. And that's a great opportunity. Um, but... I just, in all honesty, feel like this was my opportunity to work alongside Blizzard, and I haven't heard anything now to work alongside Blizzard. And with a lot of the people that I was coaching being people that were in part of dorm teams, I, I'm seeing less and less reason for people to want educational content. So you may see a transition of my content go from more educational base to maybe just fun stuff with friends. I'm not really sure. Uh, and we may also see a different transition out of my channel that is less about fun. Um, but I don't want to have this drag on. I, I don't want to be a whole rant thing. I want to keep the negative away. And I do want to get back to regular content for this game. But this announcement sucks. That's, that's all I'm going to say.